yo welcome back boys what's going on today we are finally finally today is the day i don't know if you guys can see but there's a bunch of snow falling down right now it is snowing already and guess what i finally pulled out we got the freaking ski do finally out of hibernation boys this thing has been stored for so long since like last may because the snow just came so late this year it's literally already december and we're finally getting like an all right amount of snow if you guys remember from the uh, squirrel hunting video we got like seven inches that day and today already snowed another like i would say inch and a half maybe in the past like four hours so that is just awesome and it's still snowing so i was like this is the perfect opportunity to go out and finally get sledding so i got freaking dressed i'm ready for once like on time i need to go get a helmet i kind of forgot that part of it and then I'm pretty sure this thing's low on gas, so I'm gonna have to stop at the gas station. And then after that, we're gonna get riding. So let's see how many pulls it takes to start this thing. And then I'm gonna go get a helmet, and we're gonna go finally get out and do some riding in some snow. So since it finally snowed, we do have a little bit of power around. And man, I'm excited to hit these ditches. So you boys stay tuned. We're gonna get this thing fired up, and we're gonna head out. Here goes the first pull. If we get it started, we're headed out to the gas station. So let's see how long it takes. Two, three, I believe that was five. five. All right, off we go. Well boys, we made it, got her filled up. Finally, we're onto the road. We're gonna look for some deeper ditches. Oh yeah, you guys stay tuned, it's gonna be epic. <laughs>
it smokes. Most of the rocks and stuff, I guess, are covered or frozen. So you can just cruise today. This is wild. Roll this bad boy over. All right, oh, get on sack here. Well, first day fails. Let's go, my guys. That didn't go to plan at all. All right. Well, how am I gonna plan on flipping this guy over here? Okay. Let's take it easy. Easy. Come on. Ready? Oh, it's on us too big of a slope here. I can't quite lift it. Ugh. All right, I think we're just gonna have to roll it into these trees here. Oh, come on. I'll be all right, thanks though. Nice enough to help, but I got it here. Okay, well, we're flipped over again, boys. Oh boy. Doesn't look like I bent anything. Whew. Not bad, no. But it did fire up, I'll show you right away again. So if you guys ever do flip your sled or something upside down or even just on its side, the fluids and stuff, they usually like to get into the engine the wrong way or the other way around, go out. I don't know exactly what happens, but I just know it's not good for it. So the sooner you can just shut it off, shut it off right away. If you just have that sled flipped around, hit that off switch button or else you'll have a hard time freaking turning it on. Again, that happened to me once last year. It took me like 30 minutes to get it going and I was by myself in like negative 27 degrees. So learn my lesson there. At least this time I shut it off right away. We're gonna hop back on and go hit some ditches where we at least know there's a decent amount of snow. So you boys stay tuned. <laughs> As you can see, I made it back home right in time actually. Check this out here. You won't believe it. That's right. My GoPro mount just totally fell off right as I got home. I take off my helmet and the thing just complete. That was freaking insane. Dude, I was just giving her it's just sinking in the snow and stuff. The way back, that was fun. I wish we found ditches like that a little bit earlier, but hey, the trails and stuff, not enough snow quite yet. I think we need one or two more snowfalls before we can take that out, take out the sleds and go down those trails. As you guys saw, there's like kids still quadding around and stuff. So they're just destroying the 
trails for sled, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's open to public, so you guys keep going out there and quadding if you're able to get through. But I'm waiting on a little bit more snow, and then we'll take out the sled again and give it a real test again. So yeah, other than that, those ditch rides, those are super fun though. I'm happy I got to take the sled out today. I'll give you guys a nice look of this thing dirty now. Woo -hoo -hoo. Check that out, that's right. This thing's awesome, I don't know, I, su I really enjoy it. If you guys are ever planning on buying sleds, just like you don't even need something brand new, unless you're mountain riding clearly, but if you're just doing stuff like I do, hit the ditches, hit trails, and just use it for hunting, this thing's a beautiful machine. Go ice fishing with it soon too. I'm excited, man. I'm happy I got to go out today. The snow came down, that was epic. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to, subs don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.